In this episode, we will explain what will happen if a few millimeter sized black hole approaches our planet. Let's enjoy it! Although most of the black holes created by natural mechanisms are very big, it is still possible to create small black holes, including those with a few millimeter radius. Quantum gravity theories impose a minimal size for a black hole to be possible. The minimal size of a black hole would have a radius equivalent to the plan length. At this scale, we will have a quantum gravity regime, and nobody knows exactly what would happen. Our planet looks so safe. However, the reality is that it could be eventually challenged by some cosmic events, like the collision of an asteroid, the collision of a comet, among other situations. But what about small black holes? Can they really approach to the Earth? Can we also create them in laboratories? But then let's go back to the main question. What would happen if a black hole with a radius of 1 mm approaches the Earth? A black hole of that size would have a mass comparable to the mass of our planet. Then its gravitational effects would be similar. For example, people would perfectly fall toward an object of such a mass in the same way as they fall toward the surface of our planet by using parachutes. But Ivan, remember that small black holes would evaporate faster than big black holes due to the Hawking radiation mechanism. Oh yes, Erika, you're right, you're always so brilliant. Yes, we have to verify how stable is a black hole of this size by evaluating how fast would be its evaporation process. Hawking demonstrated that black holes in general follow a black body spectrum of radiation. Then, by using the Stefan Boltzmann law, we can calculate the rate of energy emission coming from a black body, in this particular case, the black hole. In addition, Einstein's theory of relativity demonstrated the equivalence between mass and energy. In this way, the Stefan Boltzmann law applied to black holes gives us the rate of evaporation of the black hole. If we made the corresponding calculations, we would find that black holes of a few millimeters are very stable objects. Actually, instead of evaporating, they would start to eat anything entering inside its even horizon. Then finally, it comes out the following question. Can we really generate small black holes of a few millimeters in our experiments, such as the Large Hadron Collider? The response to this question is no. Indeed, it is impossible. The energy necessary for generating a black hole of a few millimeters is the same energy necessary for creating our planet, the Earth. We simply cannot generate collisions with such energy with our current technology. Then, to be honest, we should be more worried about the possibility of an asteroid colliding on our planet than about the possibility of a small black hole to be generated on the Earth. It is also difficult to generate such a small black hole naturally. In summary, Although it is almost impossible to generate a small black hole, if for any reason a stable black hole of a few millimeters approaches to our planet, it would be catastrophic. The consequences would go from giant waves and tsunamis due to tidal forces to people floating on the air like papers or leaves. This without telling you about the possibility of affecting our orbit around the sun and many other variables which for simplicity we don't mention. But as we have remarked in this video a few times, don't worry so much, small black holes are really difficult to generate. The conditions for their creation are really special. If you like this video, please give us a like, share the link and subscribe to our channel. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.